if you over the age of 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, you in that little age range, 32, 33, 34, and you ain't had no man, and the man ain't cuffed you for real, for real, for real, it's on you. It's your fault. Women you will go out here and let a nigga fuck them raw without putting no ring on it, nothing, but and, 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 and deal with the consequences afterwards, but you draw the line at making a sandwich for a man. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Like Skin Keisha, aka Big Bang Bisha, and Coco Vango. Yes, and we are back with another episode of the Bold Face Truth yeah. with the Vango. Put your visa, a put your visa, put your visa, a put your visa, put your visa, a put your visa, put your visa, a. Let's get to it. Why you ain't saying it with me? Come on, one more time. Let's get. I bowed to it. I bowed to it. It's like, let's get to Okay, but anyways, y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. We are back with another episode. We just want to put out there that for the ones who's not subscribed, y'all make sure you guys are subscribing to our channel. We always welcome a new Bang Gang member. So if you put your V's up, you ganged in. And that's just that on that. So today, we're going to get into some stuff like we always do. You know what I'm sure. saying? Really, really good topics. You know, good conversations and all of that. So do you want to pop it off or should I pop it off? I'll pop it off today. Yeah, because you don't never pop it off like me. Because okay. I always pop it off. But so oh. I've seen some stuff on the internet. I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet and it made me mad, right? So, this particular <laughs> thing made me mad. Like, like somebody said, is, uh, baby mama pussy is forever pussy. Is what? Is baby mama pussy forever it's pussy? Is baby mama pussy forever pussy? Like, what does that just, mean, just though? Just your that... baby mama... Like you gonna you you want to hit that forever? Or, I don't know what their definition of it is because I don't want I don't want nothing to do with that. That ain't nothing I would want nothing to do with. I guess they're meaning saying like, okay, if a guy has a baby mama, like, will he always like go back to her and like always like fuck her, have sex with her? Yeah, like yeah, but nah, I don't think that's true though. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, especially if they were if they bothered the hell out of you, like yeah, at one point in time you are gonna be like, damn, like hell no, nah, man, I really want somebody else to fuck. Mm-hmm. And I feel like maybe sometimes baby mamas might feel like they have a leverage, too. You ain't got now. Mm-hmm. You ain't got no leverage. I'm about to give a damn. We don't give a damn about none of that shit right there. We trying. Really, when you really over that shit, unless you just a loser-ass dude. Really, like. But what if they got a decent baby mama? I don't give a damn. If you get on my nerves, you get on my damn nerves. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn what you look like. But I'm saying, like, you talking about unless you a loser-ass dude. Like, what if they got a decent baby mama? What you talking about? I said. They gonna keep on fucking on them. Huh? For what? They might think they still, you know. You a loser, then I ain't finna be man dealing with my baby mama, man. Not not saying I deal with my baby mama. I don't deal with my baby mama like that, you know, nice lady. But I'm saying you shouldn't be trying to deal with that though. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about other dudes. Don't deal with that. Don't think about my situation. But what if the situations are just like different? (laughs) Like right, like he like. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But still, what if the situations are different though? Like, what are they cool with their baby mama? They still be like on and off with their baby like mama that, type I don't, situation. I don't rock out. I don't rock out like that. Like, cause I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like me, like if you trying to start a, a relationship with another girl or whatever, okay, like, that's you, and fair. Baby, you and your baby mama don't need to be all super cool. But you know, some people like that. Some people be liking their baby mama be cool with their girl, and I don't like that. I don't want y'all to be cool. Yeah, I'm not into all that. Each other, like, what the hell, like you my new girl, like. You know I, mean? I definitely think that if you're if you're trying to pursue somebody else or whatever, like you should definitely set boundaries for the baby mama. Like, Definitely. boundaries need to be set. Like, we're not going to be going back and forth. But I'm saying, like, what if there is no new person? They going to hit that baby mama, then. They going to hit that pussy, huh? Damn. Yeah, they will. They going to hit that. <laughs> they will, man. Why you sound depressed, though? Why you sound down about that? Because like, when, you, when, yeah. you when you single, man, when you single, man, and you wake up with that morning wood, man, you get the text and all type of people that you be like, damn, bro, I know I done did it. Like when I was single, man, and I woke up with that morning wood and that motherfucker, I done DM a little bitch from that a bitch from Strokers or some shit, some shit that I never even. I just want to slam dunk some real quick, trying to get these rocks out of him. <laughs> trying to get him, trying to empty so this slam set. dunk. That's the term. The terms you want to slam wanna dunk. Use. Slam dunk. I slam, slam dunk, dunk up in that pussy, huh? You'll hit everybody up. You'll send a mass text. You'll copy and paste and send 25 texts. Man, hey, what's up? I miss you. I want to see you real quick. Pull up. <laughs> so that's what y'all be doing? That's what men do? 
Y'all yeah. copy and paste and send a mass text out? I'm going to copy and paste. Good morning. Good morning. Grand Rising. Let me tell you something. Any man that says Grand Rising is full of shit, run while you can. Period. Because that's just that on that. Yeah, yeah, he sent that to everybody. Grand Rising Queen. Oh, hell no. Nah, you full of shit. <laughs> you an ain't shit ass nigga. You finna fuck my life up. That's what that gives. For sure. Queen, you know that ain't right. <laughs> I feel like niggas who call you queen think they better than you, huh? No. <laughs> They do. They be like, what's up, queen? Nah, motherfucker call so you queen. serious. Motherfucker call you queen? Ain't right. Cause they call everybody queen. <laughs> they call everybody queen. I don't call you queen. I don't call nobody. You ain't wait. Queen? Hell no. How you doing, ma'am? Just regular you ma'am. You don't even say ma'am. You be like, how you doing, bitch? I'm just kidding. You don't say that. That's not nice. I just don't. I don't fuck with Leo. I don't. <laughs> yeah, you don't even speak. Like. I don't. I don't speak to no bitch like that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You just, you just mean as hell. So, do you think that your family should be close with your baby mama? If that makes sense, like, does you do you think a guy's family should be close with the baby mama? Just depend on the baby mama, man. Because mm-hmm. some baby mamas cool where they can't do that, but some baby mamas really be a problem. So it'd be like hell and all, like, cause you, you causing problems in my family. You know what I mean? Mm. I really ain't into the baby mama thing, man. That's, I don't even know why I even brought that subject up. I think I think my manager told me to bring it up. That shit ain't talking about nothing. Cause I'm gonna be real, like the baby mama shit, bro. Like even you having the name baby mama, like it gotta be a reason why you just the baby mama and you ain't the wife. So really, it's a reason. Like you, you baby mama, really that mean you need to be out my life. Like let's just pay the, let me just pay whatever I gotta pay. Or just give me the baby and just leave me alone. Mm-hmm. Cause baby mama, I ain't really into it. Okay, well let's move on to the next topic. Yeah, this is a good um thing that you know it's a good debate. So y'all get ready for this. Buckle your seats. <laughs> Who do you think, if you have your significant other, your girlfriend, and your mother riding in the same car, who rides in the front seat? Who rides in the back? Damn, damn, damn. Uh, I would just really prefer y'all just don't be in the car at the same time. No, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> No, 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 I no, really no, 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 no. Because why y'all in the car at the same time? Because like, we going we, somewhere. We going to the we restaurant. Going? Damn, so mama in, my mama got her own car. Who's in the front and who's in the back? We're all riding in the same car. And I that's just that. I ain't going to lie. My girl going to be in the front. Okay. I agree. I feel like. My mama, you should be. Mama, but look, I'm a, but I'm going to kick it in my mama so play. I'm going to be like, mama, you know what? Like, you ain't been chauffeured around in a minute. I got you. Just get in the back real quick. Okay, you know? so you're going to sugarcoat it real quick. I'm going to sugarcoat it. Yeah, because I'm in the front holding your son's my hand. Hold my hand. Yeah. I can hold both of y'all here at the same time. No, I you're not. When, they, when she's in the back, how you going to so be much. like this? you going to be like this? I'm going to do it. My, I, I, I got a Tesla. That motherfucker drive itself. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm old. My mama and my. I feel like I love both of y'all. For sure. To death. But I feel like wife, fiance, whatever belongs in the front with her husband. You gonna be in the front for sure. But I'm. A, we gonna pad. We gonna pad the. We gonna make it sound. Good. But what if the mother gets upset that she's in the back? Then what? How do you deal with that situation? See, my mom. My mom. We got that relationship where, like, if she get tight, I just be like, alright, I'll let you be tight. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta let my mom be tight because she be tight about everything anyway. So mm. I just be like, all right, mom, whatever. Like, I ain't finna go back and forth with you about that. Like, because at the end of the day, like, she probably, most likely, when we live together, you was already in the car. Yeah. Some people feel like, you know, the mom or, you know, the grandmother or somebody is supposed to be in the front seat because of seniority. And it's just like, that's crazy. I don't agree with that. If it's my grandma, my grandma definitely need to be in the back. She needs some space. She old. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah, she need to be safer. She yeah. need to be in the back. I used to safer. have to put my grandma in the, before she passed away, I used to have to put my grandma in the back of my mama van. Like she in the back anyway. She needs some she needs some space. She need mm-hmm. to kick it. She need to lay on that. Like. Yeah. When do you think it's okay to introduce your family to your significant other? When you know it's when you know it's like when y'all know y'all really finna rock out, like y'all gotta be able to rock out. Cause my mom has seen so many girls, my mom don't even pay them no attention. It was one point in time my mom used to be like, "Shit, they all the same girl to me." I feel that's why I'm saying I feel like that's supposed to be a special moment. Like I don't know how y'all like value y'all moms, but usually everybody values their mom to where it's just like you know that's a special lady. So it's like why even bring all these girls to your mama? Yeah. You talking about yeah. <laughs> Cause I let a lot of girls be on my mama though. But yeah, but like why? 
I ain't right. Ain't right. I ain't right. I just got right, y'all. Next thing you know, they don't even be taking your situation serious. They be like, child, I'm yeah, I'm you just come and go. You just another bitch. My mom, yeah, my mom think that for real. My mom That's be like, okay. my mom like, she be like, okay, all right. I don't, like I said, I be I be bringing up old stories. My mom be like, who? Never met her. So she don't even remember. She don't even remember. She remember the main ones that you know that's been around. You know, mm. like about two. She know. But I feel like when it starts to get to like the relationship starts to get to like you know a couple of years, I have some like long gym, and then that's when people like start, you know. Nah, that's that's when that's when my mom be really like be letting me know she ain't really want me to be with him no more. A year or two, that's what she like. That boy, that is not who you need to be with. Like. No, but I'm saying like if you are in a relationship for like three years or so, you know, obviously I feel like your family is gonna be like, oh, okay, well this person has been around for a minute. Yeah. So you know, we gonna welcome them on to on into the family. No, we might not welcome them on into the family now. Why not welcome? Cause a lot of them girls, though, my mama ain't feeling them. My mom be like. My mom really don't be feeling like girls like that. She don't. She be like, they all right. But my mom really don't be feeling them girls like that. Do you think it's okay for your parents to have, like, a hand in who you are in a relationship with? No, I don't give a damn. What she say about that? Mm. I love I love you, mom, if you're watching this. But you don't control me anymore. I'm out your house. I am an adult. <laughs> So she used to control when you was in her house. She used to control everything. That's the reason. That's why. That's why I like when people be talking to me and they be like, "I'm grown. I'm grown." If you stay with your mama, you ain't grown. Mm-hmm. Don't give a damn what you say. If you stay with your mama, you ain't grown. Cause my mama, you can't even sleep past ten o'clock. She coming in there. Boy, what you doing? You supposed to be up. Like what the hell, I'm, man? Damn, I want to take a nap. I can't even take. She don't even let me take no nap. My mama is OD though. No, but my mom do stuff like take the door off the hinge. Just like she OD. She like, OD. That's an OD you woman. You ever got whooped with a switch? My mama whooped me with her. She, my mama's strong. My mama body slammed me and everything. Oh, body slam, huh? That lady from the project, she's different. Body slam is crazy, though. She flipped me over. Like, a switch is crazy, too. I be looking at, like, movies and stuff, and they'll be like, go get that switch off that tree. Like, do you really think that I'm going to go outside and go pick a switch? Like, what the fuck do you think I no, am? No, I'm not, but I'm not doing that to my kids, though. Like, my kids, I'm not even spanking them at all. Yeah. So, okay, so let's get to that. Gentle, there's a thing called gentle parenting. How do you feel about gentle parenting? Um, what is, this is my thing. I who feel made like, that up? I don't know who made that up. Um, but this is my thing. Gentle these nuts. I'm not saying that uh, kids have to be raised like how we were, correct? I don't want to whip my kids. Um, no, I'm not whipping my kids. Yeah, I don't want to whip my kids. But I will say this, though. Sometimes kids get out of line. And obviously, like, just because, um, you know, a lot of people try to portray this thing like, oh, well, if you whooped your child or if your parents whooped you or whatever, like, or if you whoop your child or whatever, they're going to grow up and they're going to be like, you know, evil and they're just going to do all this or whatever, da, 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 da. And it's like, that's not the case, maybe. Like, I used to get my ass whooped, but I turned out perfectly fine. When I got whoopings, though, obviously it hurt. Are you fine? Yes. Obviously it hurt enough to where it's like, damn maybe I don't need to do that again <laughs> because some kids do just be out of control. Like I used to be bad as shit. Like I used to just do stuff. But then again, I was, I didn't, I was actually, I was still a good kid though, but you know, you get out of line sometimes. So it's like, in those cases, like it was a video recently where a little girl was in Walmart and the grandmother was there and the little girl is like terrorizing the entire store and terrorizing people like, trying to attack people in the store. She's probably all of like maybe 10 years old. What do you do in that case? Is gentle parenting still a thing? Uh, see me? <laughs> see me? He said. So me, how I'm going to do is we finna end this tri- this shopping trip real quick. I'm going to put you in the buggy. We finna get in the car. But the way I'm going to talk to you, see, that's the thing. God, I just pray I don't get one of them super bad kids. Because if I get one of them super bad kids, then my life going to change. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to act really. I'm <laughs> what a, you mean your life going to change? Something, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. I'm going to send them away to school. And I'm going to be one of them parents that send them away from me. Because I ain't dealing with it. I ain't, but you got to see this video. Like, the video was very, like. I seen like, the video. Okay, you seen what I'm yeah, saying. It was and ridiculous. it was obviously, like, the grandma, obviously, you know. She's a little bit older, so she can't move around and do too much or whatever. And it's also given, like, she's kind of, like, a little 
scared a little bit because it's like this child is acting out of control. So everybody I always hear this whole gentle parenting thing, gentle parenting thing. You have to just talk to these kids, but it's like sometimes some kids, it's not just a, a couple of words. ain't just going to get through to the child. So it's like, at that point, what do you do? I don't want to go through that. You saying you gonna I put them? No, I don't even really. I'm be honest with you. I ain't even got no answer to that because like you saying, but you saying you gonna put them in a buggy. But it's like, what if they? What if they start running around, that bitch? I ain't gonna lie. Like, what if they start running full fledged through the store? I'm talking about just knocking shit over. Like, what you gonna do? I'm just be. I'm gonna just be firm. Me, I'm gonna just call the police. I'm gonna just, no, just yank your ass up. I'm just like. Get your ass up. What the hell wrong with you, man? You crazy? Yeah. Then I'm going to take them to the doctor. If I go to the doctor and find out that you got a problem, then I'm going to deal with you different. The kids. Because kids do be having problems. Okay. But if I find out that you just acting like this, oh, no. Nah, we're going we're gonna to raise you up till you get a certain age. I'm going to send your ass off to school somewhere. Away what if you're giving, like, military school or something, boot camp? Something, yeah. But my, I ain't going to have a problem with my kids. Like, even with my daughter now, she ain't going to say nothing. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a... Um... I, I just pray I just don't. Like don't Our kid ain't gonna be. Don't even say that. Our kid ain't. Yeah, gonna be I like pray that. I just I'm don't. I'm gonna just yell at my kid like, you know you dead ass wrong and then watch him cry. But you know, your mama's definitely like my mom. She had that voice, and then she'll do this thing. She was like, get your mother. That don't scare me. Shit, that shit. When she do that, that mean I'm giving you a warning. That mean that this is your warning before I whoop off in your ass. <laughs> That's what that mean. It was a get your ass right here. You, you ever, like, been in front of your mama and then, like, she'll be cussing y'all out and then she get on the phone and act all proper? That shit would be crazy. I don't, I don't remember nothing that. I just... I, I remember, remember my mama I know my mama, mama used to be cussing me out and I'd be looking at her like, she be damn fool. I mean, well, obviously, like, to, for me, like, it started to get to a certain age to where it was like, okay, you whooping me, like... It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. Like, like now I, you just whooping me. Now we laughing. I'm not even laughing. I'm just looking at you like, you are annoying as fuck. We used to be bad as hell. Like, we one time my mama came in the house, she was upset. Me and my brother and my sister, she came in the kitchen. She whooped us all like one, two times each. And then she went upstairs and she was like, get my motherfucking house clean. And we was all like, <laughs> like, we going to clean it. But like, girl, what you do? What you thought you was doing? Like, you know, well, we're going on a break like a Kit Kat. <laughs> so, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll be back in a second. You know, this uh, episode was brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Um, I just posted. I just we ain't giving out no free promo. Now listen. Well, I just said that because that's what I thought about this morning, and I want Chick Fil A sounds with egg on it. But I'm fasting, so I can't eat anything. Hello. We'll be right back after these messages. What's up? It's your boy Coco Van Gogh. You did. Get what? This is another episode of the Bold Face Truth. Make sure you follow our Instagram, the Bold Face Truth. The bold face truth. Make sure you follow our Instagram. You know what I'm saying? This is my first time doing the drop for the podcast. But y'all gonna see Diddy Mo. You know what I'm saying? Follow us at Coco Van Gogh Light Skin Keisha. We'll be back. <laughs> yeah. What's up, you guys? We are back we are after back. break. After Sorry. a wonderful commercial. Yes, we are back. Sorry. With the bold face truth podcast. With your girl Light Skin Keisha, aka okay? With the bold face truth podcast. Get your girl. You see, I got my sexy voice. Miss Shanika. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Shani. Like, <laughs> introduce yourself. Back, we're back. They know me. That's my friends. They know it's Coco and Go. Y'all, lately I've been um, seeing these things. You know, it's always debates and stuff or whatever. And I've been seeing these things like. You know, a lot of women, I seen this video the other day. I always talk about stuff that I see because I just be trying to like get y'all opinions and you know what I'm saying, and your opinion and all of that too. Um, it was a video of a man and a woman in the kitchen and basically he came home from work. Ooh, that video made me tight. He came home from work and uh, she had a pizza. She had a piece of pizza that she was eating and he was hungry and he's like, you know, well, Where's my dinner at? So she gives him a piece of her pizza that she was already eating. Um, He was basically pissed off because he's like, okay, well, we're married. I've been at work all day. You've been in the house all day not doing shit. So why is it that when I come home, there is no hot meal ready for me and you trying to feed me your leftovers from your bitten off pizza? And she's like, the whole time she's like, okay, but I'm not your mom. I'm not your mama. And the thing about it is that a lot of girls, for me, a lot of women, girls, ladies, whatever, across the world, they always talking about I'm not your mama. 
why don't you ladies know how to be submissive to your man? You don't have to be his mama just because you cooking for him and you taking care of him. What is the problem with catering to your man these days? She, you couldn't, you couldn't, and he said it, he said, I'm paying all the bills in here. You don't have to pay no bills. You don't have to worry about nothing. I'm going out there working my ass off. I can't even come home to a, the, the house ain't even clean either. I can't, I can't come home to a, a home cooked meal. What you feel about that? You know how I feel about that type of shit. <laughs> That's why I, that's the we'll reason. talk about it. That's the reason I don't fuck with a lot of these girls for real, man. I be and I told y'all I be trying to root for y'all, but y'all be messing it up for y'all self. Like, what the fuck? What the hell you mean you not my mama? Like, let me tell you something, bro. If I'm out here getting this money, right? Every day. Boy, when I come in this house, boy, it better be some food getting either ready or you done went and bought some or you getting some ready. I don't want no piece of your cold ass pizza, girl. You got me fucked up. But at the end of the day, he's a fool because after that, get what I'm gonna hit you with. But you cut, but oh, for real, that how you coming? I right, bet I got you. So get what? Let me go grab my bag real quick. I'm finna go to up the street to Hooters or something, whatever. Go get me some food. Go get me some wings or something like that. And I'm done with you. Dudes gotta start like this. One thing about men, bro, y'all gotta start having a standard for y'all self. Cause these girls gonna keep telling y'all what they want. They gonna keep telling y'all, oh my man gotta make six figures. Oh my man gotta do this. Oh my man gotta do that. I ain't your mama. It's always the girl talking about what they don't want. What? All right, cool. Get what? Get what? Get what? Me and y'all need to have some standards to y'all self. This what I this what I want. I better have me a meal when I get back, or we gonna go or, or let me know we doing date night. Let me know we doing date night. You feel me? But I ain't finna be right, man. What? Like what? But that for shrimps though too though, because you got you can't be no shrimp man though either though. Because if you for for him to take it, if he's still with that girl, if, if the video was fake or a skit, okay, cool, y'all got me because I made me pissed. But <laughs> if. <laughs> if it's real and you still with that woman, because I know dudes who be staying with women after the women, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm just not going. Like, I better have me a plate. Or if I ain't got a plate, I'm out, bro. And I know I talk about, you know, a, a lot about, like, sometimes I'm always, like, calling the men out, too. But I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I feel like wrong is wrong and right is right. I feel like these days some women just don't take accountability for just being a good woman. And then you can't follow up saying that you want to be someone's wife, but you don't even know how to be a wife properly. And you don't even want to take the steps in learning how to be a wife properly. I feel like it's just, I've been seeing it often though, too. A lot of girls are saying, well, I'm not his mama. Like I'm not his mama. I'm not finna wash his clothes. I'm not his mama. Like, damn. Why are you in a relationship with a man that you feel like you can't even just wash his little clothes for him? Ladies, if y'all you can't, over, you can't do something. You can't, you can't do that. Crazy. If you over the age of 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, if you in that little age range, 32, 33, 34, and you ain't had no man and a man ain't cuffed you for real, for real, for real, it's on you. It's your fault. Women you will go out here and let a nigga fuck them raw without putting no ring on it, nothing, but, and, 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 and deal with the consequences afterwards, but you draw the line at making a sandwich for a man. What in the fuck is going on? Making a sandwich is crazy. The bar is in hell right now. Like, what's happening? That's because, man, I ain't going to lie to you, girls. Just don't you draw the way. line. You draw the line at, 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 at cleaning up yeah. and keeping the house clean. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm going to let him fuck me raw. And I'm going to let him do this and do that or whatever. And, yeah, we're going to do this. And he ain't got to He ain't gotta give me no type of commitment. But but the minute that I'm really, I'm really, I'm really going to fucking act up is when he asks me to do, to, to sweep the damn floor or, or to clean the damn dishes. Yeah, for sure. What the hell are we doing? What's happening? What you mean? What's happening? That's your. That's the person. It's, it's personality flaws. Like people don't understand. Everything got something to do bigger than that. Like that mean that woman. That's who she is. That's a lazy ass woman. You feel me? Like that's outside of the relationship. That's why I don't deal with them type of like women. Like them type of women. Like I only done dealt with. Literally, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, but I only done dealt with maybe one lazy girl. Bro. And she was very disrespectful and lazy. And I never dealt with that type of woman again. I thank God that he showed me that type of woman. I never dealt with that type of woman again. It was other, any other relationship that I had that didn't work out. It was other things that didn't work. But that woman was still as lazy. Shit. Most of the people, they just, that's the way they is. They didn't even got nothing to do with the man. They just don't feel like doing nothing. Some girls don't want to take the initiative. They, that's the most initiative she took was to call pizza and call for that pizza. That's who she I was. I just feel like as me and me being a woman, like, you know, I'm a Southern woman, you know, we, we, we real big on hospitality. I've, I've watched my mom take care of eight kids and, you know, she's been married twice and whatever the case may be, but it's just like, 
I take pride in doing my womanly duties. I feel like a man should never have to tell me to do certain shit that I just already should naturally be doing. Like, that's an embarrassment. Like, if a man got to tell me to clean up, you should, I should feel embarrassed, correct? Like, why I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, if my man is hungry, if that's my man, if I'm around here claiming that this is my man, this is who I want to be with or whatever, and my man is hungry, I'm going to get my ass up and I'm going to go cook. For sure. That's just that. It's not finna be, oh, well, I'm not your mama, so, like, <laughs> you're going to have to call your mama. That's why a lot of women don't be, they don't, it, it, and it doesn't work necessarily because it's like, y'all don't know to where to where to really draw the line or y'all don't know the difference between just, like, being submissive or y'all don't even necessarily know how to be submissive or just, like, being a good woman. I don't like, think they want We're to not the only person. We're not the only people that's in a relationship that needs to be catered to. Me and me, they back rub. Shit, I'm going to rub my man's feet. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it it, it, it be like that. If he want to, if he want a bubble bath, I'm a, I'm gonna give him a bubble bath, and he gonna have all the eucalyptus in there. He gonna have the body oil. I'm gonna mix it all up. I'm gonna make sure some candles lit. You want this iPad so you can watch a little show while you up in here relaxing? I sure I'll do. roll your blunts. I sure do. That's what I need. That's yeah. What I need. But that's because that's what I want to do for my man, and I know that that's what makes it like. I'm pretty sure that he will be happy. Y'all don't like to see y'all man happy? No, they don't. Or like at peace? That's like, why they ain't got no damn man. You asking questions like, yeah, yeah. They don't know. Like, all our own girls that ain't got no nigga. I be looking at them. I be like, I be listening to the stories when y'all be talking. I be like, damn. No wonder nigga don't want to deal with you. You really whack as hell. You cool as a friend? You cool as a friend? I think sometimes some women get intimidated by me as well, too, a little bit because of the simple fact that I just don't be, like, going for certain shit, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't make excuses necessarily for women, you know? I definitely, yeah. don't get me wrong, like, I love women. I love being a woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for women or whatever. But at the end of the day, again, like I said, wrong is wrong and right is right. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you can't say that you want to have longevity, you want to build a family, you want to be a wife and all this other stuff or whatever, but you're not even doing the things to take the steps to be that, if that makes sense. It's just not right. Like so, I how, think, so how did you feel when people were talking about that thing? Remember when they were talking about 50-50? Oh, child. So how do you feel? Like, how did you feel about it when they was like the whole 50-50 thing? Like, how did you feel? I like, feel like when it comes to 50-50, I feel like first and foremost, you do what works for your relationship, right? Correct. Yeah. I feel like though, I feel like women are missing the point of having their own as well, too. Mm. Um, I seen a statement as as somebody saying, okay, so like if my man, my man pay the bills, but if he not able to pay the bills, then it's like, what we going to do? Bitch, you supposed to pay them motherfucking bills. That's what you supposed to do because that's what he called. That's, 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 that's being a well-rounded woman. Yeah, that's that being down. a wife. That's being like, you know what I'm saying? Like you supposed to have your nigga back. Why don't y'all have y'all nigga back? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In that, if you put it in, th in that type of perspective and then also too, at the end of the day, I just feel like you don't, you want to have something to call your own as well, too. For you, sure. Me, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a strong, I'm a strong woman. I feel like I'm a strong woman. But at the same time, like, can't nobody tell me that I'm, can't nobody come up in my motherfucking house and tell me to get the fuck out. Yeah, you're right. Because I'm handling shit, too. Yeah. And that's just that on that. She does carry her weight. I carry my weight, too. So it's like, at the end of the day, like. Even if, okay, even if he's paying the rent and you just taking care of, he's paying the rent of the mortgage and you just taking care of, you utilities, know, the water bill, the utilities grocery. or whatever the case may be. These girls don't even want to do that. And then they want to sit there and say, nah, because a woman's duty is supposed to cook, clean, and fuck this up. Let's just be real. You Girl. bitches don't know. Hold on, wait a minute. Because you bitches don't know how to cook. Let's just be real. Yeah. You bitches, are you really taking the time to really learn how to cook for real? Are you really actually cooking every time your man comes home? Because, and, and do he actually like your cooking or is it nasty as fuck? Is that why he's over here at Erica house every fucking Sunday for Sunday dinner? Or he going out with his boys or whatever to make a reservation and shit? What you mean? And then you want to say, oh, well, yeah, I clean. You bitches be dirty. Let's just be real. Y'all don't be getting the back of the toilets like y'all should be. Y'all ain't on y'all hands and knees scrubbing the ground, cleaning them baseboards like y'all should be. Yeah, you can you can go hire a housekeeper and shit, but do you know what if the housekeeper not available? Do you know how to keep your house clean in between when the housekeeper's not there? No, nah, they don't. Who the fuck want to come to go home to a dirty house? Right. That's you know. Why, yeah. And then let's not even get on the part of having sex and all of that because bitches be out of it. Is your pussy even that good? Do you even know how to suck dick good? 
Can you make a nigga come off a second dick, bitch? Mm. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, though. Because they be bragging like they got it all. And it's like, okay, if you do got it all, okay. But is that really the... She don't got it all. Is that you. the reality of the situation? You ain't got no man, though. But you ain't got no man. Like, exactly. It, like, the 50-50 thing, well, my, I mean, like, with the 50 thing, 50-50 thing, thing with me is like, you know, before we start dating, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I had that argument with somebody. And I was just like, I got money, though. You the one that ain't got no money. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, have your so own. So you telling me I'm supposed to pay the rent, the lights, key gas in your car, and my car, take you out to eat, let you come with me everywhere, and I'm the one with the money. You ain't got no money. Hell no. That ain't how we how this gonna work. Now, 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 if th- now this is the only thing I say about men. Now, my, 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 my players, my players, I'm gonna be real with y'all. If this your crib, if this your crib now, Pay your shit. Don't move no girl in your crib and make her pay no bills. I agree. You feel me? Like, when me and Keisha first started dating, when she moved in my crib, she don't know what the rent was. She probably don't remember what the rent or office or nothing because that was my crib. I moved her in my crib. I got this. Yes, so we, let's be clear. If a man is moving you in his shit, then yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, let him pay his own bills. But now if y'all decide to, be here. to do this together, meaning he can't have no females at the house, he got y'all. You gonna be somewhat involved in the decorating. You're gonna be involved. With, you're gonna be having your friends at the crib, baby girl. You finna come up out that chocho. You finna come up out that money. R.I.P. School. You finna come up out that money for real. Cause I ain't finna let you be. And me, I'm not dealing with no one who girl who ain't got no on. Now, if you go hit rock bottom, like if Keisha, but God forbid, knock on wood, if Keisha was to hit rock bottom, I got it. Cause I ain't never gonna hit. Rock I got it. You feel me? I would make sure everything good and she gonna still continue to live the life that she was living before she before. But but I also think that it's it needs to be the other way around too though. They're miss absolutely it needs to be the other way around and they're missing the point of if you're in a relationship, it just depends on what type of relationship. If if you're in a relationship for it to be temporary, I just feel like that's a waste of time. Anyways, I feel like relationships are usually, you know, are happening because it's it's supposed to be for longevity. You know. To you, yeah. What do you mean? Who gets in a relationship for, for temporary pur- purposes like that? I, I, just, I mean, people do, but it's like... I just feel like... I, a real. I feel like if you're in a relationship, aren't you like building to see if you want to spend the rest of your life with this person? I don't think everybody is, no. Not everybody, but I'm saying... I, I feel I'm like you... Have, the overall point of it, right? I feel like you're a very special woman. That's what I'm going to tell you throughout this whole podcast. I feel like you're a very special woman. I feel like a lot of women, they don't live their life like that, though, because a lot of women, a lot of women, like, I, even girls that you, you know... Not to always bash your friends, because some of your friends are cool. I like some of y'all. I, y'all are cool. But even you some... Girl, trying, yeah. No, but I'm just saying, some girls you bring around sometimes, they be saying stuff that don't make no sense. Like, they be saying stuff where it's like, okay, like... I don't need to know how to cook the best unless the man... Regardless, you should know how to cook regardless just because you finna be 30, baby. You 30-something, baby. You well, should you, know how to cook. So I have a question. And we also have have men here, too. So everybody can... Yeah, we got men in the studio right now. So. Right. So I want to know this. Do you guys agree with the statement of that? Like, okay, do you guys agree with uh, food being a way to a man's heart? Like, if a woman knows how to cook, does that make a big... You know what I'm saying? Difference? Like, is that a big plus? Everybody's saying, yeah. Oh, That's no. a plus? Okay, one no, two yeses. No? Oh, you can cook yourself. Yeah, I rather do all. Girl, that's usually because you're colorful. Oh, see, he's different. He don't count. He's special. He's but what if you had what if you had a woman that cooks? Would you feel like, okay... Shit, like instead of me having to cook for all the time, like she bringing me breakfast. I would still want to do that. Okay, okay, okay. That's dope, though. I want to go. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. That is me. See, he don't count because he knows how to cook. See, me, I don't know how to cook. So when I come home, I need a plate. I need something to make me feel good. Make me he know feel how to good. cook a little eggs. I can make an egg. A little turkey dog. sausage. I can make a little... Uh, All right, he love making the hot dogs. Bu- a buff- I can make some buffalo chicken strips on the George Foreman. You know what I mean? He love thinking he doing something on that George Foreman, too. I be busting that thing Swear down. Swear he do. Stop playing. Swear he do. But at the end of the day, 
ladies, y'all do need to learn how to cook. Ladies, y'all do not know how to suck dick. Ladies, y'all do gotta, <laughs> like, y'all do gotta know how to have sex. Like, sex can't be no thing that you think you can do one time a week and a nigga gonna be happy because he gonna cheat. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just sorry. I'm gonna give it to y'all real and raw. If you not fucking like that, bro, if a nigga gotta keep telling you about fucking, oh, he gonna fuck somebody else for sure. I also feel like this though. Um, um, sometimes men. Back on the men though, real quick. What? Sometimes men need to be a little uh more patient because with them vaginas, because just the way that y'all might enter in a bitch pussy, y'all can throw some shit off. So just be a little patient. If you didn't already beat that shit up, give her a little break real quick. Oh, that net then. Okay, that's fine. That's then fair. Get my nut out. That's fair. Get my get my nut out. You get How ready. You, get, you get ready to throw that neck too. I don't give it. <laughs> hey, but most of the time, men ain't tripping. Most of the time, the men tri- ain't tripping about giving some head and doing all that. You I know, man. I know guys who be trying to swear that they don't be eating no pussy, and I be like, you're crazy as hell. Hey, man, sex supposed to be three, four times a week. If you ain't doing three, four times a week, okay, that's fair. You ain't got no food. That's you, fair. you ain't cooking you three, four times a week. And, and you ain't having no motion. You better have some motion. Motion means you need to have your own car. You need to have your own crib. You need to have access to your crib. You need to have your own shit. If you don't have your own shit as a woman, me and you not equal. I'm going to look down on you every time, and I'm going to treat you like that until you get your shit together. Matter of fact, I ain't dealing with you. Get your shit together. But you know thank God think? you got a car. Thank God you had a place before we started dating. Yeah. Thank God that you got your own business. You know what I'm saying? You know what I think? What? I think we should make a part two to this. Okay, cool. So let's make a part two, and we'll we'll follow up with this on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Y'all make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel, Bold Face Truth. Make sure y'all are following us on Instagram at Coco Bango, at Lights and Keisha, and follow our Instagram at The Bold Face Truth. We will see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Yes, sir, Zay. And go shop Original Baddie Club and Merlin's Father. Yes, sir. It's Merlin's Father Beanie. I've got I've got uh, Original Baddie Club on today. Yes.